Hi guys, Greg here, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing an Elite Trainer Box from Pokemon Sword and Shield's latest set, Brilliant Stars. Let's get into it. Hey folks, so we're going to get into unboxing this Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. If you're new to these unboxings, what I do is, is I open these things up, go over each of the cards, their synergies, because I do actually play the game, and kind of give my thoughts on the overall card. So this is, we're starting out with the Elite Trainer Box. Oh, and hey, if you like this video, please hit that like, subscribe, notification button. It's three small clicks to you, but means the world to us. So here, the Elite Trainer Box comes with a player's guide with all the cards in it, but I don't want to look at this just yet because I want to be kind of surprised on what they do. Of course, it comes in a nice box. It comes with a quick start guide to learn how to play the game. Special card sleeves you can only get in this particular box. A boatload of energies to get you started to play the game. These are all energies. And of course, a code for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live for a replica of this box to be in your collection where you get the eight boosters, uh, the special uh, and the special card backers. It also comes with dividers, which are really cool for the set. You can write little things on them, keep your cards organized. Condition markers for burnt and poisoned. This is new. I've never seen this before. It's called V-Star. Huh, interesting, a V-Star marker. I wonder if this is some kind of mega evolution or something. Interesting, very interesting. This is the first Elite Trainer box I've seen this in. So maybe it's a new mechanic with this set. Like I said, I'm going in completely blind. The hit counter dice, right? Awesome. And a special D6. And this one is awesome. It's gold and clear. And it has little bits of gold flakes inside the dice. Let me get a little closer here. There we go. This dice is one of the most beautiful dice I've ever seen. That's great. Let's go in the bag with the other good dice. All right, folks, we have eight boosters from the latest set. Brilliant stars from Pokemon Shore and Shields. Let's get right into it. Ah, uh, I'm already liking the Gen 1. Star you. We have the code there. We keep those codes for me later. We have Staryu, water type, 60 HP, double spin for one colorless, 10 times, flip two coins, attack does 10 damage for each heads. We have Magmar, another gen one, nice. 90 HP, fire type, low kick for two colorless for 20, fiery punch for two, fire and a colorless for 70, basic type. Throw, 120 HP, fighting type, lunge out for 30 for two colorless, seismic toss for 110 for two fighting and a colorless. Another basic, a lot of basics. Halucha, 70 HP, colorless, showboating pose, one colorless. Attach up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. That's very good. Crosscut, 30 plus, one colorless. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, this attack does 30 more damage. Okay, pretty good for basic though. Bruzil, 60 HP, water type, agility for 20, one colorless, one water. Flip a coin if heads during your opponent's next turn prevent all damage and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. So supporter cards still happen, but attacks do not and effects of attacks. My shiny is boss's orders. Hey, a shiny rare, nice. Supporter cards, switch one of your, po switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Those are always very powerful cards for Wombo Combos. Definitely a great card. Boss's Orders will be seeing play for sure. And my rare for the set is... Ooh, not a great start as the first guy I pull is a regular rare. Breloom, stage two, 110 HP, grass type. Spore Ball, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. For 30, for one grass and then Powdery Uppercut for 130 for one grass. You can use this attack only if this Pokemon used Spore, bar, uh, spore Ball during your last turn. Okay, so you use Spore Ball, and then you gotta follow it up with Powdery Uppercut. That's okay. Oh boy, I have a cat on the table. I have a Energy. We have a Morgreen. Oh, there's a fluffy cat tail in the way, sorry about that. More green, 90 HP, dark type, smash kick for 30 for one dark, one dark and one colors for pierce for 50, stage two. Dust Clops, 
90 HP Psychic type, fade to black for 31 Psychic. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. I do love status conditions. We have a Weevil. 90 HP Dark type, Ransack for one Dark. Flip two coins. If either of them is heads, your opponent reveals their hand. For each heads, choose a card you find there and put it on the bottom of your opponent's deck in any order. It can be really good if they have like good cards in their hand like Vs and Vmaxes, but they'll usually be on the bench, I think. Slash for 100 for two colors in the dark. All right, so first pack, we got a really good shiny supporter card and a regular non-holographic rare. Not the greatest. Maybe this Charizard pack from pack two will give us what we need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw it out of the floor, take the, the QR code right there. Piplup, 60 HP, water type, bubble for 10 for one water. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. My cat is just giving me the stare, stare all. Her tail is just flipping. Next up, we have Shroomish, 50 HP and a grass type. Headbutt for 20 is basic for one grass. Not bad. Already seen throw. Oh, getting doubles already, all right. Cast form, 70 HP, colorless. One colorless, dru double draw. Draw two cards. Hurricane for one colorless does 30 damage. Move a basic energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. Trapage, 60 HP, fighting type. Rising Lunge, 10 plus, one fighting, flip a coin, if heads, stack does 10 more damage. And eh, whatever, he's a placeholder. And for our shiny, we have another supporter card, Kindler. I can read it with the shiny here. You can use this card only if you discard a fire energy card from your hand. Look at the top seven cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards into your deck. So if you're getting energy swamped, that could be a good card for you. And my rare for this pack is... Dun, 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 dun. Hey! Garchomp. Nice. At least it's holographic. So Gar Garchomp. Dragon type. 160 HP. Stage 3. His ability is called Sonic Slip. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may prevent all damage from the effects of attacks done to this Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. Very good. He gets to come out there and do some damage. Then Dragon Blade for one fighting and one water for 160 damage. That's really good. But you have to discard the top two cards of your deck. That is not so good. Oof. But we got a hollow. That's good. We got a dark energy. I think did they change the way their energies looked? They did. They did change, because I don't think they used to have this like brilliant aura around them with all the sparks and particles. So the energy cards are new. Interesting. Here we go. Choice belt. Item card. Pokemon tool. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage against active Pokemon V before applying re resistance and weakness. Hey, Executor! 140 HP, Grass type, Mega Drain for 70, two colorless and a leaf and a grass energy. 30 da heal 30 damage this Pokemon, and then Seed Bomb for three colorless and a grass for 130. Blunder Policy, Pokemon Tool. If the Pokemon this card is attached to uses an attack to flip any coins for the damage or effect of that attack, if any of them are tails, draw three cards at the end of your turn. Interesting. Interesting. And then that's that pack. Okay. Not doing too bad. Not doing too shabby. We're on pack three. Pardon the cat tail. Hey, hey, dude, there are so many Gen 1s. I'm really happy about this. Take the QR code, put it over there. Grimer, 80 HP, dark type. Poison gas for one dark. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. I do like poison. It's a fun status, uh, status effect. Eggs are cute. That's what we used to call it in high school. Eggs are cute. It's execute. 50 HP. Grass type, Ram for 10 for one colorless, Seed Bomb for 20 for a colorless and a fighting. Pretty basic. We saw his evolve form. It's a little bit better. Farfetched. Oh, that art is really, really unique. 80 HP, colorless type, Leak Lash for 20 plus for two colorless. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so it does more damage the more counters they have on them. 
Dust Skull. 60 HP, Psychic type. Perplex for one Psychic does 10 damage. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Club Chew or Cub Chew. 60 HP, Water type. Chili for 20 for one water. Pretty basic. I have a shiny Magmar. We already seen him. My rare for this box is. Oof, wow, two. Wow, okay. Two non hollow Two. I got three packs. I got two regular rares in one hollow. This is not looking so good. Flygon, stage three, 150 HP, fighting type. Desert Pillar for one fighting 50 times. This attack does 50 damage for each energy in your opponent's active Pokemon, for each star in your active Pokemon's retreat cost. Each colorless energy, yeah. Blasting Wind, 110 damage for fighting a colorless. That's disappointing. Cynthia's Ambition. Ooh. Sadie, don't bite that. Supporter card. Draw a card until you have five in your hand. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's turn, draw cards until you have eight in your hand. Okay. Well, like, this is normal. Like, card draw is really good in this game, and you always want to be drawing cards. Clang, 90 HP, Steel type, Stage 2, Beam for 20 for one Steel Energy, Guard Press for two Colorless and one Steel Energy for 70 damage. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30, da 30 less damage from attacks. Pretty standard. We have Barry... Supporter card, just draw three cards. Pretty straightforward. That is pack number three. All right. Let's see if we can have some more fun with pack four here. I'm gonna pull the QR code out from the back, put that aside, because I do play the game, so let's, now let's see. And, and by the way, like if I, we've already seen a card, I usually skip it in terms of saying what it does. So this is Axu, or Ax, Axwu. I don't know how to say that name. Axe W. Interesting. Axu, I think is how you say it. Or Axu. 60 HP, Dragon type, Ultra Evolution for one colorless. Flip a coin if head search your deck for a Haxorus and put it into this Axu and put it onto this Axnu to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. I haven't watched a show in years, so. I know, actually didn't. I actually learned to say a lot of Pokemon names from the show, because I didn't know how to pronounce them. S Spirit Tomb. I thought this said Spirit Bomb for a minute. Spirit Tomb. Or Spirit Tomb. 70 HP, Dark type, Tricking Tear for one colorless. Until the end of your next turn, the defending Pokemon's weakness is now dark. That's kind of fun. Curse Drop for one dark. Put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon anywhere you like. Interesting, too. Interesting. I like, I like the putting and making their weakness dark. That's interesting. So Clink, 50 HP, Steel type, Vice Grip for 10 for one Steel, Spinning Attack for 20 for one Colorless and one Steel. Sneasel, we've seen his Evolve form earlier. Or its Evolve form earlier, we've seen its Evolve form earlier. 70 HP, Dark type, Scratch for 10 for one Dark, and Slash for two Colorless for 20. Turtwig, 80 HP, Grass type, Bite for 10 for one Grass, Headbutt Bounce for 20 for one Grass and one Colorless. Eh, pretty, it's like they're basic for a reason, you know, that's the whole point. Got an uncommon uh, shiny here. Chime Chow, 70 HP, Psychic type, Clear Tone for one colorless. Search your deck for up to two special energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And then hang down for two colorless for 30. I think I got my first V. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, okay, so new keyword. Shaman V Star. So now there's V Max. V's and V stars. So now they have another one. Holy crap. And it looks like he evolved. This is a bit kind of, I guess maybe this V star is like their new version of V max because it evolves from the shaman V. So 250 HP, psych, uh, 250 HP grass type. Sorry, the, the, the purple shiny threw me off. Revenge blast. 120 damage for one grass and one colorless. This attack does 40 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. And then his V-Star po power is an ability called Star Bloom. During your turn, you may heal 120 damage from each of your benched grass Pokemon. You can't use more than one V-Star power in a game. Interesting. Very interesting and very good to like if your bench is looking really beat up. Alright! We got a V-Star though, that's great. 
Of course, we got energy. Oh, another tool. Hunting gloves. Pokemon tool. The attacks of this Pokemon card is attached. This card is attached. You do 30 more damage to your opponent's active dragon type Pokemon before applying weakness and resistance. Good for sideboarding. Floatzil. 110 HP, water type. Floatify. One water. Put up to two item cards from your discard pile into your hand. Interesting. Water gun for 60 for one color and one water. Star of uh, Star V. Okay, hold on. Star of Avaya? Avia. Star Via. Star Via. That's what I'm going to go with. Final answer. Star Via. 90 HP, colorless. Wing attack for 50. Stage 2 for 2 colorless. And I think that's, yep, that's that pack there. All right. We are halfway. We are at the halfway fo uh, point here, folks. We are at the halfway point. Gaibel. 70 HP, Dragon type, Gnaw for a fighting and a water for 30 damage. Pretty straightforward. We've seen his evolution. We have his stage 1, 2, and 3 now. We've seen Chime Chow. Hey, Electrobuzz! 80 HP, Lightning type, Thunder Wave for 1 th Lightning Energy. Flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Head Bolt for 30 for 1 Colorless and 1 Lightning. Bidoof! Everyone's favorite little beaver Pokemon thing. 70 HP, uh, colorless, rolled out for 32 colorless. Pretty straightforward. It's a bit, I mean, it's a Bidoof. What do you expect? We've already seen Sneasel, getting a lot of doubles. My rare is a shiny Flotzel, and my rare for this pack is... It's okay, it can still be hollow. Damn. Electric Vire, 140 HP, Lightning type, Explosive Bolt, 30 plus, one Lightning. If any of your benched Pokemon, Magmotor, if any of your benched Mag Magmortor have any damage counters on them, this attack does 90 more damage. High Voltage Current, two Lightning and one Colorless. This attack does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, that's that's a good one. I like that one. Hits them all for 50. It's only stage two. I like that. Have an energy with a nice aura around it. We've already seen Kindler. Here we go. A new special kind of energy. Double turbo energy. Two colorless. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides two colors energies. The attack of this Pokemon, the card is attached to you do 20 less damage to your opponent's Pokemon. So this is something you want to attach to something that has like utility, like card draw or some kind of an effect. Uh, like poison, burn, sleep, confuse, because you're gonna do less damage with it. I like that. I like that trade-off though. Tor Coral. Tor Coal. That's how you say it, right? 120 HP Fire Type. Fire Breathing for 30 plus for two colorless. Flip a coin. If heads, attack does 30 more damage. Guard Press for 90 for two colorless and a fire. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Good HP for basic. 120. And there we go. Now we're on pack six. Almost made it through. Hey, another star you. We've already seen you, star you. So we're gonna move to our next contestants. Burmai, 60 HP, grass type, hang down for 20 for two colorless. Yeah, straightforward. Riolu, 60 HP, fighting type, low kick for 50 for two fighting. We've already seen Magmar. Impidim, Impalimp, Impidimp, Impidimp, Impidimp. 60 HP, Dark type, Call for Family, one dark, Touch your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it into your bench, then shuffle your deck, and then bite for 30 for two colors. My rare is a shiny, hell yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna try to say this correctly. Drudigon, Drudigon. There we go, I think I got it. Get a little shiny there so you guys can read it. 120 HP, Dragon type, Revenge, one water, one fire. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon during their last turn, this attack does 120 more damage. Okay, so you can like pull them out, be like, bam, 120 damage after you kill one of my, my dudes, my Pokemon. And then Dragon Claw for one colorless, a fire and a water for 120. And he is basic. That's pretty good. And my rare for this pack is it's okay. It could still be holographic. 
and it's not. Wow. Darn. Uh, that is really disappointing. Wormadam, 110 HP, grass type. Matron's Anger, 30 plus, two colorless. This attack does 10 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Okay, I could definitely see some really interesting chem uh, synergy with that. Leaf Drain for 80 heals 30 damage from this Pokemon. Matron's Anger can be really good. Not like super good, but like if you have like five or six Pokemon, in, that thing can get really, really insane really quickly if you have a lot of Pokemon. I actually, there was an older Dragon Ball Z card game deck that did one damage for every card in your discard pile. It was a little better because it was every card, not just one type of card, but yeah, still, I can see how it works. Okay, not holographic. Boo, that sucks. New fire energy. Monf Monferno. 80 HP, fire type, flare for 30 for one fire, flamethrower for 50, one fire and one colorless, and discard energy from the Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, stage two. Cafe Master, okay. Supporter card, choose up, to three of, choose up to three of your bench Pokemon for each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a different type of basic energy card and attach to that Pokemon. Okay, so you get to spread out three different energies across three different bench, benched Pokemon, keyword there, benched. And the cat is back and her tail is fluffy and in the way. By Brava, 90 HP fighting type, Razor Ring for 30, stage two. So clearly an in-between thing just to build up. It's a builder. All right. We're on pack seven and my cat's paws are now in the way because she just has to be close to me. You can't be on the floor. You have to be right here with your little toes. With your little toes. All right, I'm taking the QR code, putting it aside. Purloin, okay, I like her. 60 HP, dark type, surprise attack for 30. Flip a coin, the Tails' attack does nothing. Not a very good card, but it is basic. Shroomus, we've seen you. We've seen you. We've seen you, wow, a lot of doubles already. That was fast. Seen you. Okay, my rare for this pack is... Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Thank you, RNG gods! Look at that! Charizard V! Awesome! Awesome, 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 awesome! 220 HP, even Sadie's excited, flopping on her back, getting all excited. Charizard V, 220 HP, fire type. Incinerate, two fire, one colors for 90 damage. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon. Gets rid of items, that's really good. Heat Blast for 180 for three fire and one colorless. You don't need to discard a fire energy. That is really good. Heck yeah. Yeah. Charizard V. That's a great pull. That is a great pull. Bear Tick. 140 HP water type. Sheer Cold for 40. One water, one colorless. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can attack. That's brutal. Frost Smash. What's ADP doing? Frost Smash for 130 for two water and a colorless. He's got 140 HP for stage two, not bad. You gonna sip the cards? We have, she's trying to get, she's very fidgety. She's trying to get comfortable. Shireen's Care, Shireen's Care? Shireen's Care, supporter card. Put one of your colorless Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all attached cards into your hand. So it, it takes, you take a, uh, a bunch of cards and put it right where they're about to kill something, you can pull it back in your hand. It's colorless. There we go. Prinplop. 90 HP water type, peck for 30, stage two, just an in-between. And there we go. Last pack of the Elite Trainer Box for Billion Stars. My cat's tail is right in the way of everything. Sock, 90 HP fighting type, sweep the leg for 30. That's a Karate Kid reference. One fighting, flip a coin of heads, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I always like discarding energies. It's very annoying. Cherubi, 40 HP grass type, lively fruit is the ability for a basic. Prevent all effects of attacks from your Pokemon, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. So effects specifically. 
Damage is not in effect. Yeah, it has to tell you. And then leafage for 20 for one leaf and one colorless. Hey, Clefairy! All right. Isn't she fairy type? I guess they're dual type, right? Psychic fairy. 60 HP, psychic type, pound for 10, magical shot for 30, one psychic, one colorless. Carol Blast, 70 HP, basic, grass type, peck for 10 for one colorless. Mill Seri, 50 HP, psychic type, lead for one psychic, energy, search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck and then ram for 10. And we got a shiny or a foil cafe master. And my rare for the final pack of the elite trainer box for billion stars is dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay, well you can't win them all, right? We got a Charizard V. And that's probably the best we're gonna do for this eight packs. Uh, Go lurk, 150 HP, stage two, fighting type, big hand for 30 plus for two colorless. This attack does 10 more damage for each card in your hand. Okay, that can get that can get nasty. Mega punch, 120 for two fighting and a colorless. A little disappointed that's not another, at least a holographic, but it's okay. Probo, uh, Probo Pass, Probo Pass, 140 HP, Steel type, Magnetic Tension for two colorless. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. This attack does 40 damage to the new active Pokemon. That's pretty good. Anything that allows you to switch out Pokemon to give you more control on the board is good. Iron Tackle, 120 HP for two colorless and a steel. This Pokemon does 20 damage to itself. To stage two. Uh, double turbo energy, we already saw that. We already saw you. And there we go. All right. So that wasn't too bad. Excuse the tail. Let's take a look about what I got. I'm gonna scoot her away. It's gonna scoot you. So this was my takeaway from the Elite Trainer Box. We got a Charizard V, uh, a Shaman V-Star, and a Holographic Garchomp. Uh, not the greatest of pulls. I'm really happy I got the Charizard V. Uh, he's obviously a fan favorite amongst Pokemon fans. Charizard just one of the most popular Pokemon other than Pikachu, I believe. So I'm really excited I grabbed him. I'm really excited I got a V-Star. But I only got one regular holographic. A little disappointed about that, but these two things kind of canceled that out. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching me open this Elite Trainer Box. If you enjoyed this unboxing, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, notification button. It's three small clicks for you, but means the world to us. For more unboxing and reviews, you're already in the right place. You're on checknews.com.